welcome. In this short video, I'm going to guide you through the proper troubleshooting procedure for a faulty pressure switch on the gas furnace simulator. Begin by clicking on the thermostat icon here at the bottom right of the page. This takes us to the thermostat. Next, click the system selector switch to the heat position. This will also turn up the temperature setting on the thermostat. You can use the procedure guide up here at the top left of the page. Clicking on this will result in a pop-up box, which tells us to move the system selector switch to the heat position, and we've done that. Next, it tells us to remove the cover of the furnace and tape the door switch in. By clicking on the magnifying glass right here, it will take us right to the furnace. Cover's been removed. If we zoom in a little bit, we can see the door switch right here above the IFC in the base of the furnace. If we click on that, we're going to select tape switch. Next, it asks us to check the power to the unit. This step is not necessary as we can see that the inducer up here is running, which means the inducer is an output from the IFC down here meaning we must have input power if we're getting power out of the IFC. In addition, steps 4 and 5 can also be skipped here. Step 4 has us checking the 24 volt output of the transformer at terminals R and C on the terminal strip, while step 5 has us checking for 24 volts across terminals W and C on the low voltage terminal strip. This step verifies that the thermostat is closed. The terminal strip can be seen right here at the bottom of the IFC. We know all these conditions are met because the inducer is running. And again, step six simply asks us, is the inducer fan running? Again, you can click the magnifying glass and we got a nice graphic here of a rotating blue arrow as well as the sound if you have your speakers up. So we're clicking yes. Now, when the inducer starts, the pressure switch should close, signaling safe combustion airflow. Only then will this ignition trial take place. To check the pressure switch, it'll be necessary to use the digital volt ohm meter. Click on the toolbox tab here at the top left and remove the multimeter from the toolbox. Set the selector dial to AC volts, which is the first setting. Next, I'm going to use the navigation bar to center the pressure switch in our field of view. And here it is. Now, if the pressure switch is closed, we should have no electrical potential difference across it, meaning we should have a reading of zero volts across it. As we drop the meter leads across the pressure switch contacts, we can see that we have 24 volts, indicating that the pressure switch is in fact open. Now, prior to replacing the pressure switch, it is imperative that you check for flue or chimney conditions as well as other possible obstructions to combustion airflow. We're going to assume that we've checked all these things and we're going to replace the pressure switch. Click on the pressure switch, click replace. The cost is $180 and we're going to proceed. And we can see that this solves our problem. We're going to store the meter lead back in the toolbox. And don't forget to remove the tape from the door switch prior to replacing the covers on the unit. So we're going to remove the tape. We're going to click on the door to replace that. And then if you look around, clean the work area by clicking on the broom here in the corner. Good luck. Hey, it is Craig with Interplay Learning. We hope you enjoyed this last video. The easiest way to keep up with all of our latest videos is by subscribing to our page right here. Just to let you know, if you're interested to learn how simulations are critical to onboarding and improving you or your employees' performance in the field, please visit us at interplay-learning.com.